High school football in St. Johns County has entered the second week of the high school playoffs. And we're going to talk about the one matchup this week. But first, we're going to recap last week's games. There were two playoff games and one bowl game that was played on Thursday. Uh, we'll talk about the St. Augustine Bartram Trail game, really a, a testy, high intensity game between the two county rivals. St. Augustine goes down early, but they score the final 31 of the game and end Bartram Trail season. 31 7 Yellow Jackets. They improved to 11 0. Bartram Trail out of the playoffs. They're 5 6. Uh, they did return to the playoffs after a one year absence. Uh, but St. Augustine all over the Bears in that game. Uh, Kyle West to Marcus Merrill, the, the connection, quarterback to receiver connection, really worked well for the Yellow Jackets. West, two TD passes, Dwayne Brady, a rushing touchdown. And uh, the story of the game, the Yellow Jackets defense, Tarek Odom, uh, one of the best interception returns uh, that Coach Joey Wiles has ever seen. Uh, Tarek Odom, a big defensive lineman, did not look that way on the return, really stiff arming and throwing Barsham Trail players to the ground. Uh, just a great, great return for Tarek Odom and uh, the Yellow Jackets defense. Menendez goes over to Clay last week. They in, in, involved in a shootout with Clay. They're actually up in that game, uh, closing down in the fourth quarter. Menendez takes 28-24 lead. Uh, they just could not apprehend, could not slow down Clay running back Shane Coleman. Uh, Shane Coleman touchdown really to win the game for Clay. 31-28 Blue Devils and Menendez really gave everything it had that game. Probably the best. One of the best games Menendez has ever played from start to finish uh, in program history, so nothing to be ashamed of for the Falcons. They end up with a 5-6 and six record. Uh, nonetheless, still in efforts uh, not to be discounted in the playoffs by the Falcons. Uh, St. Joseph Academy played a bowl game last week in Ormond Beach. They win 42-20 over Calvary Christian, and uh, Scott Jones did not get his 2,000 yards rushing. He came about 60 yards short, but Scott Jones, an incredible season. That's the St. Joseph running back. Uh, to finish so close to 2,000 yards, an amazing season for Scott Jones and a nine-win season for the Flashes. So uh, those three games last week in the books, and we have one left tonight. St. Augustine High School, 11-0. They are visiting Clay. The Blue Devils are 8-3, and, and this should be just a fantastic game. These two teams are very, very similar in styles, quick, athletic, and, uh, and physical on both sides of the ball. I spoke with Coach Matt uh, it's Clay coach Matt Tobin a little earlier this week, and he said, you know, we tried to mold ourselves into a mini St. Augustine. So these two teams uh, are very aware of each other. They know each other. They respect each other. And I think Shane Coleman, after 358 yards on the ground last week against Menendez, is going to be wearing a bullseye with that St. Augustine High School defense this week. So uh, the, the matchup is going to be that St. Augustine defense against Shane Coleman and the Blue Devils offense. And uh, it's going to be a great matchup tonight. So... St. Augustine High School has a chance to move on, and uh, next week's opponent, should, uh, should St. Augustine win, going to be Andrew Jackson or Pensacola. St. Augustine High School would go to Andrew Jackson, which is in Jacksonville, and uh, they would host Pensacola. So a uh, battle between a 10-1 team and an 11-1 team. So regardless, next week's game is going to be a shootout too. No easy roads from here on out for the Yellow Jackets. We'll come back to you next week with another playoff edition or a recap of high school football in St. Johns County.